Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Four Worlds. It is I, Ilamor, and I'm here coming to you from the villager portion of this world. And uh, we're walking through the farmland, and I love walking through the farmland because it's so beautiful. Look around us, we've got wheat and flowers and all sorts of things. There's pretty, I mean, this place is pretty much perfect, wouldn't you agree? You would, until you get up here and you see our pitiful sheep. Uh, enclosure and so we need to do something about this sheep enclosure today because this will not do just blue and red I mean who am I getting I can't pretend this is a farm like this it's time to build a proper sheep farm well I'm traveling back through the nether because part of our latest build needs these warp stem and you know what I already died trying to get it uh, this is all new armor because I fell in lava. Not good. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this either. Dangerous. Yeah, too dangerous. Okay, I gotta go get some food because that was the one thing I forgot before I came back in here. See you back in the overworld. Okay, we made it back with the warp stem. It was interesting, let's say. Um, but yeah, all good and uh, far too much netherrack. Maybe I can use that in some way. Let's think about that. But yeah, this is where the, uh, the barn is gonna be and I've miscalculated. So I'm gonna have to move all of this just about five blocks this way. It's gonna be massive. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be automated. So let's raise a barn. Well, now that I look at it, it's way too big. I've made something way too big. It doesn't fit. And so I'm gonna have to, I don't know, cut it down some, which is a shame, because I just moved all the sheep into here. But uh, I'm sure we can, we can fix it. But this is part of getting it right. I really wanna get this right. I want it to look really good, yeah. So I'm gonna move it again. I think, I think three blocks this way. All right, so you can see the style. It's, uh, I'm going curvy, curvy barn here. And this is actually just gonna be the courtyard of the barn, uh, but pretty enclosed because I want the sheep actually to be here eating the grass, which will grow, of course. Uh, so yeah, we've still got all our sheep in here. And um, I guess I'll build the back once I transfer all the sheep into this front portion. So I'll build up this side next and then it will be symmetrical. And I do love symmetrical. So um, yeah, let's get that done. All right, well, here we are, our sheep farm. All, well, not all done, but largely done. You see how the sheep get pushed from one end uh, to the other of this field. And this is a free range sheep farm. No, no cooped up sheep here. So they get pushed across and we go in the back door and we can see there are sheep getting pushed through uh, there's a water stream that goes under the whole field and then at, when they come under here they get sheared by these uh, droppers or dispensers and uh, they are powered by a clock it's off at the moment but if we turn it on you see they get sheared as they go under and in there we're collecting wool so uh, yeah, very simple system. I'm very pleased with it because it's uh, it seems very humane to me. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to put a filter system, get all this uh, wool into chests up here. And uh, actually before we do that, something very important for us to do is to dye these sheep all the different colors so that we get all the different kinds of wool. So let's do that before the zombies get to us. Oh no. Die, back off. You don't want to see that creeper? See that creeper? It's creeping. Yeah, I'm watching you buddy. I'm watching you with the back of my head. The eyes in the back of my head. Yeah. Die, ha <laughs> ha. Any more of you guys around? No, nope. you bet, oh. Whoa, did you see that? Pro, pro, oh, no. <laughs> no blowing up there, please. Wow, I've impressed myself. Nice. And pretty colors for you. And pretty colors for you. Teal for you. Ah, 
This is the way it should be. Free roaming sheep of all colors, just naturally cohabiting together and being pushed down the hole at the end to be processed. I think there's only one more thing to do. Well, there's one more thing to do apart from the filter system, which is to get more sheep. All right. Well, it's raining outside and I've taken off my armor so that we can check in these chests and you can see that each one has a different color and each one is looking marvelous. So uh, yeah, all of the chests, all the colors, all 16 colors filtered and it's all happening underground. So there's uh, no visual waste and this whole place looks good. So I am very happy with this. I'm going to stay up here and, uh, and just AFK for a while and get lots and lots of wool in every single chest. And then I think we'll call this good for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Join us next time when we will be working on some quartz towers over there. And um, I'm not sure what else we'll be doing, but you can be sure it'll be fun times. Catch you later. Bye bye.